Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfella One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Uh, let's talk about uh, Nonir Donier replacing uh, Rigan Diaw in the Casimir fight. Uh, let's talk about it. Appreciate the love and support. Keep sharing the videos. All that love. Appreciate it. Best way to support the video. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to make a donation. Best way to do that is subscribe, share, um, thumbs up the video. But if you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. He said Donair replaces Rigan Diaw. To catch me your 118 pound unification fight August 14th. I seen Julius Ring IQ talk about this last night. I didn't know what he was talking about. Eight years. A key fight like, with the uh, unboxing. He said eight years after Nonino Donaire lost to Rigondeaux, the Filipino flash to replace Rigondeaux in the big fight. Loxy has learned Donaire would, would, would face fellow Filipino champion John Rio Casimir in the Bantamweight title unification fight August 14th. I decided to be determined. Showtime televised 12 round bout. Between Donaire, the WBC 118 champion, and Cash Year, 34 and 21, uh, the WBO title holder as the uh, main event of a triple header. Cash Year, Rigondeaux was announced part of Showtime four month scheduled fight. Rigondeaux is not injured. Premier Box champion Al Hamer simply decided to make a more intriguing, uh, legitimate title unification bout with Donaire and Cash Year. The Cuban Rigondeaux will likely face an opponent to be determined on Donaire Cash Year undercard. If Rigondeaux wins, the 40 year old could challenge the Donier and Cashmere winner at the later date. That's messed up, bro. That's messed up, man. I tell y'all, Al Heyman ain't black, bro. Keep telling y'all that he green. He green. We're the we're the all black car, all black car for the uh, Black History Month. You know, keep telling y'all that, man. Y'all want to believe me? This further proves it. I thought he was injured, but um, he the regular champion. He had defended maybe versus Gary and Tom Russell, man. I don't know why they, why they didn't send him to fight a new you. Maybe, you know, Bob Arum don't like Grigadow, especially after he whooped O'Neill at the Music City Radio Hall. That was one of my favorite fights of the last decade. But I love O'Neill because he took the fight. Simple as that. Um, when nobody else wanted to take that fight, okay? You know, when Lomachenko wanted to, after that, Lomachenko won the, you know, a super duper advantage. You know, that's why, you know, like I said, let's keep going. The Cuban born Rigondeaux, who well, I said that. Rigging out hasn't fought since he defeated Panama's Leo Bro Salales 31 6 and 1 14 out KOs won no contest by split decision in a 12 rounder 16 months ago at PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The two time Olympic gold medalist won the WBA secondary bantamweight belt by winning that bout, but Donaire Casimir's legitimate championship unification bout. Defeating Casimir would not only add another bantamweight title to Donaire's collection, it could give him a him an opportunity to avenge the loss. Zero right now. Uh, then unbeaten, Rigan Dow overcame 10 rounds, knocked down. He, he overcame the 10th round, knocked down, defeated Donier by unanimous decision in their 12 round, 122 pound title unification fight, April 2013 at Radio Music City Hall in New York. Okay. Um, the 38 year old Donier regained the WBC Bantamway title he first won 10 years ago by knocking out previously undefeated uh, Oblali 17 1 12 in the fourth round. Um, May 29th, Dignity Health Source Center Park in Carson, California. Donaire dropped the body twice in the third round, once in the fourth, before the Showtime Championship Boxing Main Event was stopped. The 32-year-old 32 Casimir made one defensive WO title. He won when he knocked out South Africa's Tite in the third round uh, of their 2019 Arena Birmingham, Birmingham, England. So, um, I don't know. I understand it's more lucrative, but damn, man, they top rank. The sanction belt body's not Al Heyman sticking it to Rigondeaux. To me, to me, dude, that's just too much, man. All sides, the white people, the Hispanic people, Bob Aram, all of them taking it to uh, Rigondeaux. Rigondeaux definitely deserve better. But yeah, but, uh, but yeah, you know, Cash Muir last fought last September 26th. He fought the Mohican son versus Duke Michael. So he defended his title twice. That was a typo. But um got a 60% knockout ratio. Uh he had losses. Uh he had back-to-back -back losses to Raymond Garcia Herles. 
Monty, Mathalon, okay. Which they probably went on to do nothing. You know, Mathalo, he just lost to Sonny Edwards. Um, then he had a loss later on to another dude in Bangkok. But he never been knocked out. I, I don't, you know, he been knocked out once. He got knocked out by that dude that lost to Sonny Edwards last. You know, then he lost to Jonas Sultan. A unanimous decision. So, I mean, this is one of, this is a winnable fight for Rick and Dow. It's a winnable fight for Donaire. Now, uh, the dude from um, Pacquiao Promotions, they promote Cash Money. He was talking Cash Money shit, Sean Gibbons, about Rick and Dow. And then Al Heyman just switched it up like that. So, I mean, that's messed up. And they still got listed to fight Rick and Dow, but that ain't going to happen. And like I said, Rick and Dow fought last February, man. And um, he just not active. And, uh, you know, hopefully Al Heyman gave him a nice uh, step aside payday. It ain't really nothing he can do, even if Al Heyman don't offer a payday. Um, and maybe he wanted a tune up fight. You know, maybe this kind of worked for him. But, you know, this dude, 40 years old. And if he got to wait another year, I don't know what to say. You know, and, it, and it's just messed up because he's a two time medalist. And I think Lomachenko, a two uh, time gold medalist. And they treat him like a god at top rank. And they treated Gregendahl like shit at top rank. And they treat him like shit in uh, PBC. You know, let him go in there. Why he didn't get the opportunity to go out there and fight uh, Oblali? Come on, Al Heyman could have played, could have fucked around with the, with the, um, he could have messed around with the Rakens. Why, why didn't Rickendahl drop that regular belt, bullshit belt? And let him get an opportunity, man. I keep telling y'all, man. Me and Tom keep telling y'all, Al Heyman see green. That's a great sign of a great businessman that's going to be very, very lucrative. I have no issue with it, but continue to stick it to to him. Ain't nobody going to tune in and watch that shit in, in America. None of that. Fight fans don't like small fighters, but I think he appealing to the Filipino crowd. And once again, Al Heyman make moves for the other and make zero moves for the brother. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. He ain't going to do nothing. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all, man. That that Al Heyman, that Al Heyman, what it is. How Al Heyman treat the brothers, and salute the others. But you know, nobody want to talk about that. And these these dudes talk about this pro black stuff. Um, ain't no real pro pro black stuff in here, man. You know, ain't no pro black stuff in here, man. But you know, really nothing you can say. Well, nothing you can say. You just sit there and you just got to, you know, shake your head. You know, nothing for the brothers. Nothing for the brothers. But, um, you know, just looking at the fight between him and Donaire, I think it's another winnable fight for Donaire. It's a guy that been knocked out before. Um, that's what we do know. He been knocked out before. He can't be hurt. And uh, we'll see. That really don't mean... Everything. Maybe Cal Casimir didn't have the right nutrition. Maybe he didn't have the right money behind him. But, you know, I think in a rare situation that the 40-year-old fighter or whatever, 37-year-old fighter that Nonito Donaire is, I think that, uh, I think that I think he the favorite. I think he should be the favorite. You know, Casimir, he ain't fought nobody like him. You know, Donaire 38 be 39 in November. So he ain't fought nobody like him in you know, I'm going to ride with him. You know, I'm going to ride with him. But um, I don't see about Casimir, man. Maybe everything went right. His nutrition is back in. Um, maybe none of them, something went right in his career. And now, you know, he's starting to get it together. He ain't lost since 2017. You know, shit, he, had a, he KO'd everybody since 17. You know, he, KO'd, he had one, two, three, four, five, six KOs in a row. So maybe he come in to prove a point. Maybe something change. He 32. He got 61% knockout ratio. The fight going down 8-14, 2021. But I'm a favorite though near. Um, and that's just my opinion. Okay, but John Real Casamayor, you know, is a good fighter. And I knew you why I kind of want to see him. I knew you why. When times come, I remind Casamayor in the ring everything he had to say about me. So I knew you. So he been talking shit to him. Knew you why. He may not get past, uh, he may not get past uh, Donier. He said, right now I'm focused on this fight, living in the moment. I knew you I told boxing ahead of mandatory title defense, whereas IBF number one ranked. 
Michael this morning, whatever. I've heard that he's had to say and chose not to pay attention to that kind of talk. So apparently, Kessimer has something to say. And, you know, he got a he got a fish to uh, a new UI board board. So cut out, but we'll see. But hey, check out the box news playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All the social media links in the description. Twitter's the best way, and Facebook, and Instagram. Facebook group link in the description. You want to advertise your business on the channel, chop it up, whatever it may be. Hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. That's the description. PayPal link there as well too. Appreciate the love, and support. One time for the one time. Peace. All right. Appreciate everybody for supporting the channel, man. Everybody that been here since day one. But if you want to continue to support the channel, you want to continue to see me go to these fights, man. Um, I appreciate if you do donate to the channel. Now you have several ways to donate, and you can like the channel. You can share the channel. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. Most of you guys do that on everything. But financially, if I'm going to go to Wilder Fury, Spence Pacquiao, and all the big fights, and I'm only entertaining and going to the big I'm only interested in going to the big fights. I'm going to need you guys' support. You can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Anytime for any you know advice or you want to advertise your business on the channel. It's another way you help support the channel. I do want to work with businesses and all that. But if you want to make a donation, donation. Cash app is CJGood313. That's in the description. PayPal link is in the description as well too. Appreciate it. Peace.